Hey, Mad Lab Nation, how you doing? Greg Mack, Rainmaker 201 podcast. I was thinking about something. Um, sometimes it gets confusing. A lot of the strategies, tactics, principles, philosophies, and methodologies of the Rainmaker 201 course. There's a lot going on there. And I wanted to just talk to you a little bit about one of the key fundamental postures, uh, tones that we take in the sales transaction. And that is that is this idea of staying on the no side. Uh, what Sandler called going for the no. And I don't want you to get the sense, and if you've taken the Rainmaker 2 on course, you've, you, you, you've heard me talk about this and leverage some of the ways that we can phrase um, language and sentences that they're kind of on the no side as well as take a, a no side tone but I, I don't want you to get the sense um, or behave in such a way in these sales transactions that uh, you're so negative. You're a negative Nelly and everything's just terrible. And, you know, we're not giving the, the suspect or prospect, you know, some sense of hopefulness and um, the notion that maybe we can help them. And, and so we need to strike a balance here. Uh, in, in the way that we communicate this idea while we're trying to stay on the no. Because if you remember, there's uh, several things that we do to stay on the no side. Uh, one is uh, strip lining, right? When somebody tells you they want to go in some direction other than you, they want to go to join a gym or a personal training studio or hire someone to come to their house or whatever that might be, you strip line, right? Which means that you uh, just start going in that direction with them and ask them questions about that. And that's Part of a going for the no or staying on the no side strategy is not trying to, you know, stop them from thinking and tell them how dumb they are for, for thinking about doing anything other than coming with you because you're a superstar and so fantastic and nobody in the world can do what you do and you'll guarantee everything that they want you can do right and and that's why you know most consumers are jaded about the sales transaction because they're 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 given all these high hopes all these guarantees all of these um, promises by salespeople, and uh, often those fall quite short. And so, you know, we're really trying to under-promise and over-deliver uh, if we can. But while we're doing that, we want to stay somewhat positive and give people hope. And so even though you might say to somebody, you know, as far as a no-side sentence, hey, I, I, ho I hope that we can help you, but I'm not sure because we really can't help everybody. Not everybody fits with what we do here. That's a no side way to say something, but you can still follow it up with, but you know, let's, let's explore and, and talk and see whether or not there is a fit. Cause if that would be the case, that would be fantastic. We'd be happy to have you here, but, but I don't know yet. And so let's, uh, let's explore that. And so that's, that's how you would kind of balance in a sentence structure, you know, both the, the no side theme of the conversation not sounding like some cheesy salesperson who's just saying, you're going to love us. We're the greatest things in sliced bread. There's nothing better than what we offer. There's no competitor is even close. We can do everything you want to do and promise you more than that, right? That's what sounds like cheesy sales BS. And you just can't sound like that in a sales transaction because you can't guarantee results. You can't. You don't know how this is going to go, right? And so... Um, staying on the no side and, and having a no theme is actually keeping you honest in some sense and, and keeping the customer and the suspect prospect um, a little less defensive because they feel all this, you know, say yes pressure uh, that a lot of people put on them when they're in sales transactions. And so, so we're going to reel that back. And this isn't reverse psychology in the traditional sense of that. It's just a tone, a way to structure your conversation so that you're reeling in the, the real enthusiasm you should have about what you do. Uh, but that enthusiasm, if um, uncorked and unregulated and ungoverned, it'll overwhelm the suspect or prospect. And so uh, stay on the no side, but you can sprinkle in hope and goodness and happiness and possibility absolutely in the conversation. So uh, that's my tip today in the podcast. And so if you have not taken the Rainmaker 201 course, I don't know what you're waiting for. I don't understand it. Um, it's going to change the way you work. It's going to change your professional life. Uh, see, you know, I'm sounding like a positive, cheesy salesman, aren't I? Right. Nah, 
you don't want to take the 201 and get better, do you? See, that's that's reverse psychology. That's no fun either. Look, <clears throat> if you like where you're at in your practice professionally, you've got all the customers you want, and they're the kind of qu- customers you have, and you have a high quality practice because of the relationships. And great, you don't you don't really need 201 if you've already got a solid process that's helping you um, meet suspects and prospects and get the decision making process um, so that it's a mutual win win at the end. It's great. Fantastic. Probably lots of ways to skin the cat here. But if not, um, I don't know. I don't understand. I'd like to hear why you might be delaying the, to pull the trigger on the, the Rainmaker 201 program in the Mad Lab Met, the Web Hub. I mean, it's it's easy. It's cheap. I think it's 295 bucks for you know 20 plus hours of um, serious content that will help you uh, communicate better, relax, help your suspect prospect relax so that you can actually develop a professional relationship that makes sense. So stay on the no side, go for the no, um, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't be a little hopeful and um, willing to uh, to share that, um, yeah, there's some cool things that you might be able to do to help them if the decision fits right. All right, you guys, see you.